Hi, welcome back to Bite Size Guide. I'm Phil. In this video, we're going to take a graphic or an animation with a green screen and import it into DaVinci Resolve 20. And then we're going to remove the green screen and replace it with a transparent background to make it more useful. I've actually touched on this subject in a previous video for creating subscribe button in Canva. But because it was tucked in at the end of that video, I was afraid that people might miss it. And because it's quite a good one, I decided to make a video of its own. So we'll fire up Resolve and we'll go to our project. From our video bin, we're going to right click and import media. And there it is. We'll just rename that. So we don't get confused. Pop up sub button church and open that and there it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to make ourselves some space on our timeline. We're going to pull it down a bit. We're going to create a new track and we're going to call that pop up subscribe so I'll pop up subscribe and what we'll do we'll find an appropriate place to put our button doesn't really matter in this circumstance it's all it's just for it's just for uh, and we'll drop it in just there so we'll play it So it kind of works. So now what we've got to do is to uh, manipulate the green screen. So what we're going to do, get the playhead and drag it over the top of our button and highlight it. And then what we're going to do is go into our fusion page. Click on that. And what we want to do is add an effect called Delta Kia. So if we go up to effects and in the search type in delta here there it is and we click on that and that adds that effect and over here is the uh, inspector for the delta here effect so what we want to do make sure that key is uh, highlighted and on background color we want to click on that and it pops up a color wheel. Now what we want to do is tell it to ignore this color. So we go pick screen color and we've got a picker. So you want to hover over until you get a green like that and left click and then it puts that green that was there into the choice and click OK and you see now it's removed the green and it's put in like a clear, a transparent background. Fantastic. You can use that for any graphic. It's really useful for, for adding uh, effects for graphics. Brilliant. So next we want to go to final result. We want to go to matte. And we want to click on matte. And the threshold, what we're doing is tidying up the edges of our graphic. So there's no feathering. So what we want to do, we just want to pull the edges in by a couple hundred on each side, on that side, and then on that side. Isn't a bit too accurate. It just it just tidies the edges up. And then what we want to do is on the mat, go to final result, and then we go back to our edit page, and there we have it. You can see the pop up graphic is now transparent or well, the background of it is transparent very nice now what we can do now is to alter its positioning and the size of it so with our button still highlighted we can go to the transform key and there it allows you to alter the uh, properties of it so if we go to inspector this gives us some more additional 
uh, tweaks. So if I click on that, what we can do, uh, if you highlight over that, zoom on the left hand side, it makes it larger and smaller. Like that. So I'll make it a bit smaller. And then the positioning of it, you can go left and right, or you can go up and down. So what we're going to do is drag it down to there. And we'll get rid of the transform key. And we'll just play that and see what we've got. Very nice. A custom made like and subscribe button. Now obviously if you use your imagination with that, the techniques we've used today could be adopted to other graphics, especially uh, when removing the background. Very useful. Now I'll just clear the desktop. Get rid of Inspector and we'll get rid of the media pool just so we can see it better. We'll run it again. Just have a second opinion. Yep, very good. Now, what you can also do now you've created that, you can actually right click on it. And uh, copy, and then bring your time head further down, your replay head, and do uh, paste. You've got another one. Now we've got two. And of course, like any video, basically, that's what it is, you can drag it about. So you can move it to wherever you want. Fantastic. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and click on subscribe. And also, please leave a comment. The more comments we get, the more improvements we can make to these videos, and the better and more useful they'll be to people in the future. I'm Phil, and this is Bite Size Guide. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.